Hello guys, Shubham here after so long. Today we have with us AEX that is AOSP Extended Build of version 6.4. As an update to version 6.3, this update has not many but much of minor changes which makes the ROM way better than previous build. So what all improvements they did that we are going to see in this video. So let's get into it. So as I was talking about the ROM has many minor changes, one of the major and most wanted update that made by AEX community is about battery life. The battery life was way better in previous builds also but this build gives much and much better battery life as usual, giving me 1 to 2 hours of screen on time on normal usage. I don't know much more about gaming but it might be like somehow half an hour or or consider one half which will be less than normal usage so talking about battery life the battery backup is very good in this rom and i use many roms after this build consider such as bootleggers and many more like dirty unicorns etc but comparatively aosp extended beats them all in terms of battery life the good parameter which i found in the latest build which is in version 6.4 of aosp extended so next is about user interface that is UI. So moving towards UI, yes, the UI is very smooth and stable, not lacking at all. It is very smooth in every circumstances. For example, if you open too many applications in background and still if you are using it, for example, if you are toggling between a launcher and uh, between a status bar sliding animation and task manager consider for example so you will not find any kinds of lag yes once the phone gets heats up too much after uh, a long usage like you are really using it for long then you may see some types of lag in it other than that if you use in limits then it's it doesn't show any kind of lag the ui is smooth and perfect yeah the ui was also good in previous builds but Again, some kinds of minor improvements were found in this, so the UI is also improved in this build. So next is about camera which is one of the biggest and still the unsolved problem in many of Pi ROMs. Actually this problem exists right from Oreo ROMs but still in Pi ROMs this problem has become more and more intense. So let's move towards camera, yes camera in this phone works fine, I mean in this ROM works fine. Uh, as I told in my previous videos you can also install OnePlus 5 camera applications another i made separate video on that so all those apps works fine in this uh, then to like stock camera also works fine in this rom video recording sometimes crashes and also camera doesn't work when you enable flash in it that is with flash the camera doesn't work at all so for that purpose you can use other um, applications like i mentioned in video which is oneplus 5 camera app and you may also find some of them on play stores which might work out for this but yes as usual problems still exist about that camera works fine with clicking and snapping photos but when you have to record any video camera crashes and doesn't work fine so yeah not that much improvements in camera but 
yes still we we must consider it so camera in this room works fine excluding video recording and flash so now moving towards the most important problem many users are facing and also they are commenting in my comment section is about payment application one of the solution i found that you have to root your rom though the pi rom doesn't comes rooted the rom is unrooted so you have to root your rom by flashing magic zip so this is how i uh, i found this useful when i flash the magic zip in my phone as i will show further so for this first of all you have to download the magic file manager and also magic zip file uh, consider any file which will be the latest and in my case i am using 19 or 18 is also compatible so going into twrp you have to flash the magic zip after that flashing that you have to also install magic manager once your phone gets rebooted up reporting you have to open magic manager and sliding at the three bar menu on the left side you have to select uh, magic hide after selecting that you have to select a uh, google pay or any other upi app for example consider paytm in my case it's google pay as i use google pay a lot so on google pay option you have to check mark and once you check mark you have to go to your home open the google play app, google pay application and you are good to go you will be registered and it will not show any kind of warning like oh, your phone is rooted or it's not authorized for you in google pay and you are good to go with your payment application so this is what are the solution i found and other, other solutions may also exist if anyone has any solution then comment down below in comment section let me know and also others know that what other solutions may work in case if this solution doesn't work so all those solutions might work so if anyone knows can comment down below in comment section so this in this case in a ax that is osp extended the payment app also work fine Uh, i hope that this solution might work for other pi roms also like uh, dirty unicorns bootleggers aos ip etc but right now i used in aos pay extended and it works fine without any issue so let's talk about the performance so overall performance of the rom to be honest this is the very first rom i used more than one week as you can see the total bill is or you can also see an entire month so because i was really impressed with this rom so very main reason to use this rom so long is that because of the battery life the battery life is so impressive and it was so useful for me as a daily driver as i in my case i doesn't get so much time to charge my phone again and again so in my case it's 
it was a priority that a battery must be good. Yeah, other things was also a priority that it must not lag or be a random reboot. Considering that, also works fine in this ROM. So overall performance is good. You can use it as a daily driver. After that, when you use other pyroms like bootleggers, uh, most probably bootleggers, then you will seriously don't like that ROM or any other one. Uh, being giving a honest review, seriously you will don't like because the battery backup and the way it random reboots and lags, it will it will really disappoint you. So in that case, you will again turn back to AOSP extended. Consider it. Maybe it might be version 6.3 or 6.4. Any build of AOSP extended works good and fine. Yes, other issues like camera and all, which is still unsolved, which is I don't know how and why they are not fixing it yet. But on behalf of that, everything else in this ROM works fine. So it is good to use it as a daily driver without any issues. If you wish to use it, so go further and install this ROM. It will really appreciate you and you will not be disappointed by it. For today guys if you like this video must hit that like button and if you appreciate my work please hit that subscribe button for such content. I know that video is very late because I was busy in some other work so I really sorry for that but from next time onwards the video will be on time like I used to upload it every week so sorry for that and again it will not happen. So that's it for today and see you guys in the next one. Peace.